going to get what you pay for. And uh, we certainly take a lot of pride in offering the best of the best. And this M5 S2 is exactly that by definition. This is the best Dynan S2 I've ever seen. here enthusiast auto group today we're driving an e39 m5 one of my absolute favorites and this one happens to be a full dynan s2 package with a whole 14,000 miles on the clock it has to be the lowest mileage s2 i've ever heard of or seen in person and uh well uh it is an absolute riot it's a beast and uh, well we're gonna take you for a ride today we're gonna do a little uh, fun run safely uh, and of course then have to take a pit stop somewhere to show you all around the car uh, it is in really really fantastic condition this would be called the number one uh, by Haggerty's condition scale and uh, I am very very excited to bring this car to market it's one of actually four Dynan S2s that we have at EAG at the moment uh, two of which are still available one of which has just recently sold and uh, if you've not driven an S2 uh, don't do not drive it because it's gonna get expensive for you especially if you're an E39 M5 enthusiast this is the ultimate, ultimate package of what an E39 M5 should be, could be, needs to be, and in this case, is. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you, sir. May I have another, and another, and another one after that, because... <sighs> <laughs> That is exhilarating. Um, if you have uh, any stress in life, uh, at work or home or wherever, going and unplugging in your uh, beloved car that you're in love with that uh, is, well, an extension of you as a car enthusiast, uh, that's uh, the best way to blow off some steam. And uh, I have to say that doing so in an E39 M5 really does it just beautifully because Yes, you drove it to work. It's got four doors. I mean, you can use the car for just about any and everything you want to in life. And it's just it got to be the most practical and awesome analog sedan BMW has ever built. Uh, E28 M5, yes, give it a run for its money, but uh, here now 33 years uh, removed from new. The E28 uh, is, is certainly more of the classic collector car. The E39 can just do all of the everything every duty you could want to do uh an e39 will still do today yeah and, and have the modern conveniences and uh you know just the uh the, the stuff that you want uh, in a car that you're going to be in every single day um uh, i am super super happy with this car and again 14,000 miles i mean it is in just near new condition uh, after completing the EAG Reju program it will be next to new by basically every measure and I am not great at driving a stick apparently who would have thought this is gonna be a little bit of a different maybe a unique video uh, I have not planned it whatsoever I decided to strap a bunch of cameras to this M5 and decide to go for a fun drive on a beautiful day uh, we'll stop uh, somewhere convenient take a lap around the car show you the condition and do a, an assessment of it but uh, you know the driving dynamics are really what uh, an S2 is all about and I have to say that uh, it is a really 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 tight driving experience with this one I, I, I've not driven uh, that many M5s that are nicer than this one albeit we've got a 3,000 mile this and a sub thousand mile that uh, every once in a while to, to use as our reference uh, measuring stick but uh, they don't have all the Dynan S2 stuff on them and you can't build an S2 today the, the headers the um, velocity stacks the differential uh, several key components to that S2 recipe are not available from Dynan any longer and, and uh, I don't think there's any plans for them to be available anytime soon so if you want an S2 you gotta buy it you can't build it if you've not yet subscribed to EAG's YouTube channel that might be a good idea we have several new arrivals and first looks like these uh, well they're a mainstay of our videos and it's a great way to see a car before it hits the market in the mainstream media 
And uh, here we have three different E39 M5s all just about ready to hit the turntable and go mainstream on the market. And we're starting with a, another, a second 3,000 mile Carbon Schwartz one owner M5. This car is going through getting a full comprehensive paint correction as well as a, another, uh, well, a first coating. The car's never been detailed uh, uh, before, and we're using one of our new nano graphene coatings uh, from Art to Shine. Uh, more information on that to come soon. Uh, if you are looking for an Amola Red on Amola Red, just 22 built in this color. This is a 32,000 mile car, originally sold in Cincinnati, Ohio of all places. Uh, it is an EAG repeat visitor, class of say 2012. And staying in line with the class of 2012, this is another EAG repeat visitor, a 2003 uh, jet black on black sport that was, uh, well, again, acquired from EAG from the original owner back in 2012 when it had 41,000 miles and uh, is coming back to market now with uh, just a, a shade under 58,000 miles. So uh, do stay tuned for more first looks. Hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, and certainly do reach out uh, if, if these are uh, uh, cars that uh, would be of interest to you. This Carbon Schwartz is just an absolute sweetheart. You can get a good idea of the EAG paint correction process here too. Uh, makes a world of difference. Exactly what I would want uh, in an E3905. Uh, yeah. So this one is a 2002 model. It is done just, as I said, 14,076 miles at the time of this filming. Uh, it's had only two owners. Uh, the car originated uh, ownership wise in Texas, and that is where the Dyna Nakutra Ma were installed in Plano at Autoscope, one of the larger Dyna authorized dealers, certainly, especially in that period. Uh, Texas was Dynan's number one market for many, many years, especially in the early days, uh, even more so than California, I believe. And uh, this car was about $40,000, $45,000 in that range to, to apply the S2 package to. It's not just an S2 software flash. A lot of people get that confused. This is a full package, a full synergy of uh, modifications that when paired in unison, you get a heck of a package. It's uh, just around 480 horsepower. Uh, it's up a good 70, 80 foot pounds of torque over stock. And it really takes the E39 M5 uh, from that quick level to, that's a proper car. That's pretty quick. That's nice to, hmm, that's kind of fast. And it is just that, even by today's standards, it's, it's a pretty fast little car and little. I mean, it's still under 4,000 pounds. The, the stuff today, uh, not so much. I mean, this weighs as much as the current and new big grilled version of the M3 and M4. I mean, they're within 100 pounds of each other. And uh, well, uh, this thing is tactile and you feel it, you hear it, you smell it, you, you see it. Um, it. It's just, it's old school. And it's still reliable if you buy the right one, especially one that's been rejuvenated and gone through, but most importantly cared for by people that, that get it and are th enthusiasts prior to your point of acquisition. And uh, you know that's really where EAG comes in. Uh, if you've got a great M5 or M3 or M anything, BMW anything, and, and feel really proud about the, the car's condition and have waxed it just as many times as you filled up with fuel, that's probably a car that we're gonna have strong interest in when you're done and ready to pass that torch, that uh, caretaker role to the next enthusiast. And uh, well, that's exactly where all of our inventory comes from and I have to say that um, I'm very thankful that, that uh, those enthusiasts reach out to us um, and, and give us that opportunity we'll pay great money for great cars that's for sure and uh, this car is just that it is a fantastic car mm, I love it <sighs> that engine the s62 
is five liters of fury and it sounds fantastic with it. the headers high flow cats stock resonator dyna mufflers that's the uh, key ingredients for this just symphony of throttle bodies uh, pumping a whole lot of oxygen through this uh, big air pump of an engine. Uh, I don't think the reliability has, has really changed or compromised over a stock car when you go with the S2 package. Uh, none that we've seen and having four of them on property today and a good dozen or so in, in the EAG revolving car collection, um, you know, it's enough of a, da a data sample to, to know um, what's what and uh, uh, definitely a fan of the S2 package uh, more than frankly any other package. Dynan's R&D budget was I think the largest of any engine uh, they focused on with the S62. Uh, they had uh, been supplying all the Daytona prototype uh, racing engines and I don't know exactly how many they built. 50, 60, 100. Uh, I know they built so many that when they retired a lot of them they rebuilt them and then sold them to customers to install into to Z8s. Um, I, I don't know that any made it to M5s. That might be a nice little uh, fun thing we do as we start restoring these cars uh, once that time comes. But uh, for the meantime you don't need to restore them when you can buy them with just 14,000 miles on them and, and they're only original once this car arrived in all original panels, all original paint. just gangster <laughs> Whoa. Um, yeah s2 wins um, this is the best version of the e39 m5 What you pay for and uh, we certainly take a lot of pride in offering the best of the best and this m5 s2 is exactly that by definition this is the best dining s2 i've ever seen uh, and i would love to see and find a lower mileage one uh, and i'd like to meet the guy that had the self-control to not put uh, more miles than 14,000 on it because you can't not drive this car that's why you spend 40 or 50 thousand dollars making a dining stage two uh, signature two package on an e39 m5 especially when you're out in texas and then uh, go uh, the second owner of this car was in Maryland Rockville Maryland and uh, that's where the car spent uh, a little over the last decade uh, it's um, the undercarriage as you'll see with the uh, detailed photos in the Dropbox file for any interested parties it's in really great shape uh, everything about the car frankly is just in really great shape uh, we've got a full rejuve roadmap uh, detailing out everything that we've invested into the car we'd be happy to provide that to any interested parties and I, I should note while I have uh, our fellow E39 M5 enthusiasts attention uh, if you have an M5 and it's time to, to say goodbye uh, first you're probably gonna regret that decision but second uh, give us a call we'd love to have that conversation and and keep that car in a great home we are looking for more uh, driver EAG driver grade E39 M5s uh, we will prefer to, to focus on the later production 2002 and 2003 model years if we can uh, so help it and, and naturally we do want to have a, a clean history car that uh, uh, is something that the next guy can be just as proud as, as you've been uh, but if you have one of those please do uh, reach out give us a call uh, in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a lap around this M5, show you the condition. Hopefully I didn't get it too dirty from this fun little spirited drive and uh, well um, I'm excited to share it with you. As we take a lap around this M5 you're going to notice that it is in pretty indistinguishable condition from new. There are not a whole lot of blemishes that I'm going to be able to point out to you on this M5. Uh, we certainly do have close-up photos of, of every imperfection that we have identified throughout the, the detailing and the photography process, and, and that certainly will be part of the data file that uh, all interested parties will receive. Uh, you'll note, uh, relative to the Dynan S2s, uh, a lot of them will not have the wheels or maybe not have the brakes or, or one or the other or both even. And uh, those were some of the optional bits uh, for the S2 package we've learned over the years in, in reviewing uh, so many uh, of these M5s. Um, uh, from you know the original owners, second owners, uh, and what have you, and uh, this car you know has both. Uh, it has the the lightweight forged wheels. Uh, they are running a 275 square setup, which uh, 
Uh, Michelin does have a PS4 available, um, maybe a bit on back order at the moment, but uh, we will be putting some fresh Michelins uh, on these Dynan wheels. These Dynan wheels are pretty hard to find. Uh, they are lighter weight than stock, and certainly uh, there is some performance gain to, to be had when you, you do reduce that unsprung weight. They're in really, really good shape, and as you can see, they are backed by those uh, Brembo uh, Dynan uh, big brakes. And uh, the, the stock brake setup with the, uh, the standard S2, it's not absolutely necessary, um, but it, it, it does um, give you a bit more bite. Uh, personally, I, I like the stock brakes just as fine, uh, but the Brembo, certainly if somebody's gonna, having uh, already previously spent that uh, seven or $8,000, I'll take it. Um, the cluster does have just one row of pixels out. Uh, now that it's warm, uh, those pixels are full and bright. That's a thing. They do uh, come back as the, they warm up. Uh, we've got the Titan trim. I guess about one of the only imperfections I can identify here on the interior is uh, just right there in the corner of the ashtray. There's this uh, little uh, bit of an imperfection there. We can certainly uh, you know, go about a thousand bucks and buy a new one of these Titan trims if we really want to go over the top OCD. Uh, there has to be a line at some point. This is a used car, but uh, full disclosure is alive and well. Uh, it does have the uh, BMW uh, uh, Bluetooth system, as, and it did previously have one of the, the cell phones, albeit the, those don't work these days with our uh, cell phone tower systems. Uh, it also has the BMW backup camera system, something that we have uh, seen just a handful of times. The, the Carbon Canadian 03 M5 uh, had that as well. And that is this uh, lovely little bit here uh, where the grab handle goes. And there is this little button that uh, will gain access to the trunk instead of the actual uh, push sensor pad there, uh, giving us room for the camera. Uh, the Dynan badge, of course, uh, earned with 10 points of Dynan bit uh, of kit. And uh, you really got to spend some money if you want Steve to sign it for you. Uh, I cannot tell you exactly the uh, storyline behind why and uh, when Steve Dynan signed that, but I can tell you that is his signature. Uh, we have seen it multiple times, have it at our workshop uh, when he visited. And I'm guessing that he probably visited the uh, installation facility uh, at the time or maybe uh, the service center uh, when this car was in for service, saw his car. Um, don't mind my uh, uh, GoPros and uh, briefcase, all that good stuff. Uh, the car will haul, literally. Um, it does have the MK3 2002 spec navigation at the moment. We certainly can update that to the 2003 spec. And just in case you're wondering who the target market was uh, in period, uh, they needed to, to have some instructions on how to do that. Uh, these days, so uh, this car, um, it's going to haul a whole lot more than just golf clubs, as you've seen in this video. Um, uh, it is a bit hard to throttle back, um, and uh, 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 but you know, uh, when the car's yours, I guess you can go out and do it exactly the way you want to do it and share it with others. Uh, jumping in the passenger seat and uh, giving them a good fun ride certainly will make a car enthusiast out of whoever is sitting here if they have any uh, car bones in their body. Uh, I, I do fondly remember going through and, and driving an S2 with Ken Sparks, the, the former BMW spokesperson for BMW North America. And uh, we took a Sterling M5, uh, actually one that we have now back in stock, CF90307. It's a car EAG built to the S2 level back in 2012. And uh, well, it's uh, returned after uh, selling it to its uh, second enthusiast home over the last nine years and uh, 49,000 miles. Uh, one, obviously, we feel very strongly and fondly of uh, considering that we were gonna sell it to uh, somebody that's been in charge of the brand and their reputation for many years, uh, just about uh, two years or so ago when Ken bought his EAG E39 M5 from us. Uh, this is, uh, well, as you can see here, a uh, uh, fully stamped and serial numbered S2. Uh, it's original down to the lovely yellow tank. Uh, we can certainly put a new a white one on if that color bothers you. Uh, the uh, originality of this car, though, does certainly show through and through. Uh, the mechanical side of the Rejuve um, is going to give us basically that brand new car uh, reliability uh, for a second time. And, and having bought all of our M5s back from our owners and supported them throughout their ownership, uh, you know, we can say that these are really reliable cars when you go through and take care of all the common stuff in a proactive nature. From a condition standpoint, um, you know, here she is. 
Uh, it is a just super, super nice choice example. Does not yet have clear bra. Uh, the front bumper did have two holes drilled in the front for a license plate bracket. No more. EAG has restored that front bumper cover. Now, obviously, uh, cannot claim all original paint. And uh, actually, the quarter panel back here on the driver's side did have a dent that uh, had uh, what uh, one would call a paintless dent technician. I would not call him a professional uh, because he did not do a great job and uh, stretched the metal, did uh, enough um, working around in there that uh, did require a uh, refinish of that body panel repair. And so we did repaint that quarter panel as well. Uh, the color match though is on point and uh, while this probably isn't the best lighting and shading and things to give you that representation here digitally with the camera, uh, I can tell you that it's on point and, and I'm very, very happy with it as will any other discerning uh, loving enthusiast. Uh, of course, um, uh, no tape lines, all the common stuff. I mean, come on, of course it's right. So uh, yeah, I'm proud about our team. Uh, we've got really the best uh, team specializing in these M cars, frankly, in North America. Uh, we love these cars just like everybody else and keeping them in great shape is what we do and what we've built a, a brand and frankly a business uh, doing. I appreciate everybody tuning into this one take drive uh, video on the M5. It is a very very fun car that I'm sure will put a smile on your face. It clearly has put a big one on mine. I uh, would also encourage anybody that owns a great uh, BMW uh, M car or not if you're looking to keep it in a great home we'd love to have that conversation and do just that. Go through the Reju program get it uh, set up for success for that next loving enthusiast and, and keep it on the right path. Uh, and if you of course you're interested in any of the cars you see on our website or, or ones that you don't. Most of our stuff these days is selling without ever hitting the website uh, given the, the relationships that we're building with our fellow enthusiasts and would love to build one with you too. So uh, drop us a line, shoot us a text, shoot us an email. Uh, we'll go from there and certainly uh, stay tuned for a whole lot more. See ya. a car porn because this is an m5 and it goes like stank it's an s2 that means it's a dine signature package dose and uh well with 480 horsepowers uh it is a beast just an absolute absolute screaming four-door beast it's just a, 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 a freight train of power is what it is really and uh, i'm gonna show you that here firsthand right here 